Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Keith Paschal, and this is a course on how to install a universal CMDB data flow probe. First, the installation documentation is available on the Open Text documentation portal at the URL shown. Note the keyword latest in the documentation link. It will take you to the latest version of UCMDB that exists. The CMS product architecture consists of the UCMDB application server with its associated database, the UD probe or universal discovery probe or data flow probe with its associated probe database. This is what we are concentrating on installing today. The UCMDB administrative user interface, also known as the local client. And last, the CMS UI, or the user interface on the web that is HTML5 based. The server requirements for Dataflow probes. Check the documentation for the version that you're installing. That documentation also uses the keyword latest to redirect the user to the latest version of UCMDB currently available. The small and standard deployments are identical. The CPU, memory, and display all have two numbers in them. For example, a small or standard deployment requires four or eight CPUs. The first number is the minimum. The last number is recommended. Note that you may need more resources than the recommended value depending on the workflow of the data flow probe. For an enterprise deployment, for example, the memory recommended is 24 gigabytes. This memory is the memory associated with the data flow probe JVM, not the complete amount of memory on the data flow probe server itself. There will need to be additional memory allocated to the XML enricher and to the operating system of that data flow probe. The XML enricher should use four to five gigabytes of memory for scan file processing. If, however, you have large scan files to process, more memory may need to be allocated to the XML enricher. A typical deployment contains a single application server supported by a single database. In this case, the UCMDB Dataflow probe usually goes through a firewall via HTTPS on port 8443. All communication from the Dataflow probe to the UCMDB server is started by the Dataflow probe itself. The UCMDB server is then connected via JDBC to a database. This is a typical deployment in a pre-production or test or development environment. In a high availability deployment, there are normally two or more UCMDB servers in a cluster with a load balancer front end, allowing for a redundant architecture. In this case, the data flow probes connect to a load balancer, probably through a firewall via HTTPS to the writer VIP or virtual IP address on the load balancer, which is designated for the UCMDB application server that is a writer. The UCMDB servers that are installed then also connect via JDBC to a highly available database cluster. Before installing a Dataflow probe, it should be noted that Dataflow probes should be deployed inside the company firewall. Additionally, the probe can be installed before or after the universal CMDB server. However, the data flow probe during the installation process will request the user to enter the UCMDB application server host name or IP address and will attempt to connect to the UCMDB server. This is a useful check and so the UCMDB server typically is installed first. The data flow probe will need at least five gigabytes of space in a temp folder for installation. If upgrading a data flow probe, save the old CA certs file and any other configuration files that the user may have modified. The key store and the trust store passwords, if upgrading a probe, will be randomly generated if the 
previous key store and trust store passwords were the default passwords. Otherwise, they will keep the same passwords as the previous version that was being upgraded. Port 5432 should be open for the Postgres database that the Dataflow probe uses. On Linux, set the locale to UTF-8. Pre-installation. The first thing to know, does UCMDB use basic authentication? If so, the basic authentication username and password will need to be provided to the Dataflow probe during setup. What key store password is going to be used for the Dataflow probe key store and what password is going to be used for the Dataflow probe trust store? Additionally, should you remove access to the Dataflow probe installation directory for users? Also, the UCMDB routing domain that will be used needs to be known before the Dataflow probe is set up. Also, any passwords that are going to be specified for users like the sysadmin user or the Postgres database user, those passwords must contain 8 to 16 characters and include at least one of the following four types of characters. Uppercase alphabetic characters, lowercase alphabetic characters, numeric characters, and special characters, such as a colon, slash, dot, underscore, plus, minus, left square bracket, or right square bracket. The certificate validation level needs to be known. Selecting low disables all checks except for the existence of a signed certificate. Medium disables the certificate revocation list check, but does check to see if the CA certificate is valid. And high requires that the certificate be valid, a certificate revocation list be specified, and that certificate not be in the certificate of revocation list. The installation workflow. First, ensure the prerequisites are met. Next, install the Dataflow probe. Then secure the Dataflow probe either by installing a signed certificate and or removing user access to the Dataflow probe directories. Then start the Dataflow probe and ensure the Dataflow probe is visible and connected in the CMS user interface or in the local client. Now, I will show you a demonstration of a UCMDB Dataflow probe installation. Thank you.
you should now be able to install a UCMDB Dataflow probe. Thank you for your time.